My name's Maria and I work on this kind of animal. This happens to be part of an extinct marine reptile known as an ichthyosaur, commonly called a Cretaceous sea monster. Um, they're the dolphin-like animals of the Mesozoic era when dinosaurs were around on the land. These guys were part of the fauna, part of the animal groups that were in the ocean at the time. What we have here is the back end of the ichthyosaur, which is a fairly rare thing to find, truth be told. We start with the tail vertebra, that's the backbone. So we're looking at the tail part of the backbone from here downwards. We even have part of the fluke further down here, which is very unusual. And we've got the hind flippers right in front here. We've got the left fairly complete and we've got a partial right. These guys are fairly unique among the ichthyosaur group because they've got three bones attaching to the femur. The femur is the part, the leg bone that attaches to the hip. And they've got lots and lots of digits, whereas we just have five. In here, you can see at least six. This isn't complete, so there may have been even more. The longest um, finger here has about 13, 13 um, elements, 13 phalanges, and we don't have very many, as I'm sure most people would know. Um, working out what this means for how the animal swam, how it functioned and all of those parts of its biology is part of what I'm doing as my PhD project. Uh, we've got the tail vertebra starting up here, going right down into the section here, missing a few vertebrae in this part and going into the fluke down here. As you'd guess because of that, what we've got here is the equivalent of the hind legs. I've got the femur in my hand right now, that's just basically the equivalent of the leg bone in a person. And um, I'm just mucking around with it, taking measurements to compare with living animals, um, in particular dolphins. And it's, it's a rather interesting specimen. The back end is one of the least seen parts of the ichthyosaur, particularly the back legs. That's not often found. And as such, there's not a lot written on them. Um, this specimen does show a little bit of deformation of the vertebra. They're not precisely the shape you'd see in real life in them. I'm also going to use it to compare with a bunch of living animals so I can work out how these guys swum. It's a bit of a bone of contention how the Australian ichthyosaur did it and hopefully with what I can find out it will actually shed some more light on how they swum, what they did and how that um, affects its paleobiology and, and things like that.